What's going on guys? Derek here from VR Dynamite, our brand new YouTube channel. And somewhere in this video, there's a hidden dynamite emoji. When you find it, comment with the timestamp below and let me know what game you don't own but wish you did for a chance to win that game. Now let's get into it today. We got a spicy one for you. Today we're playing the game Stones of Harlath, and this game looks really, really cool. So we were given early access and I wanna give you the first kind of 30 minutes of gameplay. Now there are no spoilers and this will be my true and honest opinion of the game as I'm playing it. Then once we're all done playing, at the end of the video, I'm gonna give you my little mini review. But if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button and click that bell because we will have our first official VR Dynamite review come out on this channel very soon where we give it an official Dynamite score, letting you know whether it's worth your money or not, whether it's something you should buy or pass on. Okay, let's get into the video. Okay, here we are. Here's my hands, looking pretty cool. A little bit of a draw issue on the mountains up there. I don't know if you can see that, but it looks beautiful. Sounds nice. It's like some ruins over there. Look at my sailboat. Very cool. First impression, super nice. The water sounds really aggressive. Okay, press the menu button on the left controller to adjust the comfort and gameplay options. Okay. Resume. Okay, I guess we're in. We're starting. What a strange okay. place. At least I washed up on this beach instead of drowning. Damn storm. Okay, let's explore. Let's go. So it's a nice mix of kind of pixelation and real. As you can kind of, the best indication is the arm. You can see it kind of pixelate away. This looks cool. Okay, press A to interact with the stone. Maybe I don't know what my A button is. <laughs> Seems like the stone go. is bursting with magic. Odd, I see some smoke over the trees. Maybe this island is inhabited after all. I guess that's star. So there's a star down there. Something that's maybe my uh, indicator for it to go. I like having that. Looks really good. You know, uh, the one thing they did really well too is the, uh, the comfort settings. There's a very nice shadow. Here's the bunny. It's the only thing I don't know if I love yet is just the completely flat sprites with everything 3D and then the, the things that are actually animated and lively are flat. I don't know if I love that, but uh, I'm, I'm impressed, man. These guys did a great job. Okay, follow the star to the town. Let's go. But yeah, like I was saying, these uh, comfort settings are really, really nice. Is there a way to sprint? Not yet. This is really cool. Music's good too. Like I said, yeah, this is this is the uh, studio's signature look though. The, the other games you've released and the future games, they all look to uh, be having this kind of flat kind of sprite things. Another boat, but look how beautiful that boat looks. I just wish, I don't, I'm okay, maybe they're a little too pixelated is the issue, or maybe it's the fact that they're flat. Just takes you out of it a little bit. And it's so beautiful. They did such a nice job on everything else. Like, look at the, uh, this is a uh, Native Quest 2. Look at the smoke. Oh, that's, notice that it's moving with my head, huh? It's kind of cool, actually. Okay, let's get into it. Can I, can I grab stuff yet? Nope. Okay, let's, let's get to the game here. Really cool though. Press A to enter the end. I wish I could push in, but uh. God, look how fast this loaded. This, they did a great job optimizing this. Okay, here's the end. Can I do anything? Hi. Okay. Be rude. See what I'm saying? That's just a little too pixelated 
design can tell it's really cool. The further back you go, the cooler it looks. Stones of Harlath. Cool. Okay. Those are some huge bottles of wine. Let's uh, talk to this lady. Greetings. It's so good to see a new face in Marhaven. And this inn will be your resting place during all of your adventures. But don't be fooled. This island is much more dangerous than it seems. Don't go out before training with Brother Cody, because he'll make sure you're ready for any encounter. Okay, Brother Cody, don't go out. Oh, feels nice. Brother Cody, I don't fully understand what I'm supposed to do next, to be honest with you. She says nothing to me. There we go. Okay. Marhaven. Cool. This is beautiful. Love this. Okay, let's follow the stars. Hello? Marhaven. Everywhere you turn, they look at you. <laughs> Creepy. Okay, let's go. This is Brother Cody. Ooh. Okay, let's get into it. Ah, a new Aha. I have everything you need. You cannot venture out without shield and sword. Go try them out on those practice dummies over yonder and return once you've got the hang of it. Okay, so one thing, no no collision, I'm noticing. Maybe because I just played Gladius, it's not fair, but it goes right through, but still really cool. I like that my, uh, my health bar and everything right is on the back of my shield. Sword looks nice. It's all fun. Okay, press the right thumbstick to equip the weapons. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay. Press it in. Nice. That feels okay. Okay. All right. Thumbstick. Press again to revert to battle mage mode. Swing the weapon to attack. Okay. Shield. Raise your shield to block. Easy enough. Okay. Got to block magic. Okay. Let's try a block. Felt good. I feel like he's going for my crotch. Whoa. Okay, let's, enough of that. Nice. Come at me, brah. Come at me, brah. Two hits. Okay, when blocking an enemy's sword, use the health, the health bar will turn blue. Okay. Oh, hey. Stab, you can stab. Okay. Easy peasy. Next. It's the one thing, it's kind of hard interacting with these people, but. Maybe I gotta put my sword away. Good, good. Yeah, you do. You're a natural. I see that you have the gift of magic. Back to the dummies and try out your fire spell. Fire spell, okay, magic blast. Aim with controller. Trigger to cast. Whoa, okay. Cool. Okay. Inferno bomb. Hold B and aim. Press trigger to cast. I'm finding I'm having a hard time remembering what my A and Bs are. <laughs> Just in the game. Okay. Okay, it's true. Bill appears on your wrist. Okay, trigger. And I do a triangle. Draw the fire. Okay, that's what I thought I was doing. Okay. Okay, let's go again. Oh, I see, and then I got you. Okay. A little bit of a learning curve. But once you do it, it looks like you don't have to do it again. Oh, no, maybe not. I ran out. Okay, so draw it. Okay, once you get it, you get it. Okay, casting spells uses mana. 
Press A to drink the potion. Drink drag. One final piece of advice. Your grimoire is full of information. Touch the tabs to navigate Ooh. through the pages that can help you with your adventure. Once done, come back. I might need you to take care of something for me. Can't wait to meet this guy. Okay, tabs. Player stats. I get the map there. Brother Cody. Okay. Here's all my spells. Cool. Okay, hunt creatures. Okay, cool. I guess we can find different creatures out in the world and hunt them. A tribe of fisk ratters have slowly started to invade the island. While most of them keep to their huts in the north, a couple of them set up camp right next to our village. We cannot allow this. Please take care of the problem for us. Okie doke. Okay, Marhaven, Marhaven. Yeah. So a good one, I think I can remember this one is the uh What happens if I attack these dudes? Uh oh! Alright! Okay, that was a monster. I got lucky, I thought it was a guard. Oh, it's a fish dude. Whoa! Oh, the shield! Ah! <laughs> okay. Yeah, controls feel good. Once you get them, they're pretty good. I feel like, can I break these things? I feel like. Instinctively, you want to Zelda these things and get some loot. Okay, there's no jump, but it looks like an auto hump over them or auto hop over them. Right? There was a star there. What am I missing? Now there's another one here. Okay. Oh, maybe I just had to defeat those guys and come back. Let's do it. Okay, give me some thanks. Thank you so much. The Fisk Ratters are only one of the many problems we've started to have on the island. Go see Arissa Evermore. She might need your help. I can drink one of these just in case. Okay. Okay, I want to know what happens when I attack these guys. And where were you last time when I needed you with those monsters? Okay, so, hold the trigger. Make a triangle. <laughs> okay, so the uh, instantly forgive me. Okay, let's go talk to this lady. Hey, lady. I am the wine merchant of this village. Ooh, wine merchant. I'm just so scared to go in the cellar. Lately, it has been infested with rats, and I don't know Aha. where they're coming from. Please help me get rid of them once and for all. No problem. Let's go. Let's do this. Just scared of some rats. Okay, so I can't select doors with my shield and sword out. Ooh, look how pretty this looks. So I guess this book stays in your hand the whole time. I've tried to get rid of it. Nothing does. Which is fine, because I guess once you get some more spells, you'll want this book out for reference. Uh, it looks beautiful. Okay, let's go. Whoa, rats. Let's go old school. Eh. Okay, let's fireball these guys. Oh, didn't do it right. Let's go. Bye. The, uh, the animations are actually really good. Okay, now they're coming at me. Let's go see if there's any others. So I guess this tells you kind of your ammunition. So I have one fireball left. What happens if I draw it again? Does it refill? It does, cool. Okay, I like that. Yeah, I didn't notice that. I, I thought that was just an effect at first, but that's your, uh... whoa, boys. Okay. Good thing, oh, I missed. Okay, let's take these guys out old school. Ah. I took some damage. Oh, there's lots of them. Okay, but there's some health over here. Gotcha. Oh, okay, that guy, that guy bit me pretty easily. 
Okay, press A to drink this potion. Okay, where's my health stats now? Hmm. Right there, I guess. Okay, so health is good. Everything's good, but let's just go for it. I might need to reserve those for when I get these guys. Okay, let's get some fire spells going. Got it. Sayonara. Okay. Two more guys. Boom. This is pretty nice, guys. I am impressed. If you are into fantasy and if you like the old school games, this is like one of like, this is how you wish Zelda looked for the original Nintendo. It's like they did it. It's this great balance. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Can I block this guy? You can, okay. Spells are easier on these uh, these lower guys. So. <laughs> yeah, like I was saying, this is, oh, what are those? Whoa, what am I getting? Who knows, okay, next. Cool, this is really beautiful. Okay, how many times have I said that? Sword away. Done, mission accomplished. Let's go back. Let's go back and impress the uh, the wine lady. Did I take any help? I'm good. Okay, let's go. Okay, the one thing I noticed too is the uh, in this room, especially, your motion settings are very, very. Maybe because it's so dark, you don't notice it as much but they do give you the option to adjust those. Okay, hey lady. What a strange room. I have no idea what caused the cellar's collapse or where that room came from. You should bring it to brother Cody. Back to Cody. My buddy over here. Where was Cody? I'm not seeing a star. Maybe you get no more stars. You're just supposed to know names. <laughs> hey, Cody. Amazing. This rune holds the secret of space and time. Try these new spells on the practice dummies and get back to me. Okay, let's do it. Okay. So here's what I think they want you to do. They want you to load your spells up on this page. So at any time you can reference them. Okay, use your new time spell to get past the fire. Okay, so it's a circle, counterclockwise. So sometimes they don't work. Or I'm doing it wrong. Okay, that worked. I get two of them. Oh, it's like a teleport. That makes sense. Okay, so it... Oh, and I can keep using it because I got one more. Okay, so if you are prone to motion sickness, you get this spell pretty early on, and you could actually probably use this spell to navigate the whole uh, the whole game if you wanted to. Now what? These runes are linked with the standing stones of Harlath, most of which are corrupted now. Maybe the runes can help us heal the island. Maybe. Now that I think of it, you may be able to find another rune We're in saved. the round gut mines. They have not been used in a long, long time. So expect them to be infested with unfriendly creatures. Well, I would hope so. Okay, so I think I'm done here. I can leave. Okay. So, I'm supposed to go to the mines. Max Haven, but I don't really know. The stars kind of disappeared on me. And what are like those things over there? Okay, maybe it tells me in here. Some of you are probably like, oh my gosh, look at your book. Enemies, treasures, that's my spells. Okay. Travel to, oh, look at those nails. Ugh. Travel to Ground Hut in search of another ruin. Okay, Ground Hut. 
Okay, so this shows you where you are. Okay, cool. So when I turn, the arrow turns. There's a green thing over this way. So I'm assuming I navigate this way. And something's going on over there. It's pretty cool, look at the draw distance. Okay, so let's try using a spell to travel around faster. See, boom. So that's what I would recommend to most people who get a little motion sick. And there's the star there. I heard a werewolf. Yeah, let's not, let's not take that thing off. Let's go into the cave. Okay, whoa, what are you? Press A to pick up the fire sword. Hoo hoo, hold your sword and squeeze the right grip for three seconds to ignite it. Ah, oh, this is cool guys. Okay, let's try it. There it is there. Hoo hoo. Cool, will water put it out? Nope, okay, moving on. Spiders. Cool. Whoa, they are vicious. Ah! Okay. Didn't take too much damage, but man. Vicious spiders. Oh, look at these rats. They're whoa! Whoa! Was not prepared. Whew. Was not was not prepared for that. You can see your damage are kind of around your peripheral vision, which is nice. Only other little criticism too is the uh, the sound. Whoa, ouch. I got you. Where, how? Where was I even coming from? Yeah, I see you. Ah. Oh my gosh, they're depleting my health. Okay, you know what? These guys need some fire, some fireballs. I can't let them get close. And I don't have a shield though when I use these. That's the only thing, and they jump. Spiders. Okay, whoa. Whew. Ah. Uh oh. It works, Andy. Goodness. Whoa. That looked like a boss wing. <laughs> I am almost dead already. Game does not joke. Whoa. Oh, I'm out. It's very hard to do. These. Okay. Let's go. Let's take her to old school. Whew. I'm close to dead. Whoa. Looks like a banana from over here. What is that? Just a candle. Whoa, where'd you come from? I could use a health. I'm so close to dying. Okay, nothing jump out at me. Let's go. What is that thing? Oh, these rat guys. Oh, shoot. Oh, I died and I smoked my hand. Smoked the green screen behind me. Oh, it's so hard because you're going to want to actually turn to kill these guys. The uh, thumbstick doesn't work as well. 
Ouch. Okay, press A to restart. How far back do I have to go? Back to the, hopefully the beginning of that cave. Oh, okay, awesome. Didn't have to restart all the way outside that cave. Let's go. Full health, round two. Die. Die. Okay, the other thing is these enemies, the enemies are so low to the ground that you're bending over a lot, with the sword at least. Okay, came from there, let's go. Let's get out of this friggin' cave. Really hurt my finger. <laughs> okay. Okay, bring it. Done. Okay, bring it, spiders. Oh, what are you? Ah! Okay, these guys are a little harder to kill. Controller might have been broken. Hitting it. Yeah, we gotta play this smarter. I would almost recommend playing this game in um. St okay. Hallelujah, we got some health. Let's uh take that. Even though, of course, I don't need it. Okay, let's maybe teleport. See, I can't do spells while I'm moving. Okay. Teleport behind, oh my gosh. It was probably a mistake. Let's kill the big one. I'm not gonna last long. Uh, why are there so many? Yeah. How have I not died yet? Use the stone to block them. The dude in the rock. Holy moly. <laughs> ah! Okay, I totally just used all that health I could use right now. There's another big one over there. Okay, hold on. Let's do some spells. Okay, I need my triangle thing. Done. That's the way to do it. Oh. Oh man, she has more. I'm aiming for my cross. The scariest thing is the guy playing this game. Oh, oh I hear you. Oh no. Oh, okay, and we restarted back here. Let's go. Okay, let's do some teleportation. Good news is I'm either going backwards. Oh yeah, my fire sword. I forgot about that. I really hope I'm not going backwards. I guess I could check my map. Here's my map. Well, we're heading up to something. Looks like a tower. Need the shield for sure. I'll take that just because. Just 
Okay, I feel like this is where I just died. Okay, let's ignite my sword. Maybe I can't. Oh, there we go. Yeah, sword's ignited. Why are there so many of them? Coming for you all. Ooh, fire sword is bomb. They're so small, I wish they were. Oh, you see that? Oh no. Okay. We're at the first boss. Let's, uh. Not what I wanted. Can I do another one? Yeah, that's what I wanted. Okay. Okay, well, what, what do I do? I think I got lucky. Whoa! Okay. Fireballs are my friends here. More fireballs, please! Oh, he just keeps coming. I got two more fireballs. More fireballs, please! Uh oh. Okay. Just got flat. Oh. I'm only getting. Oh, that is hard. Okay, fireballs weren't doing it completely. I got to move it halfway down. Oh, and I'm all the way back here. Well, guys, we're gonna end it there. You got a little glimpse of the first boss battle. Uh, you didn't see what it's like to defeat him, so you're gonna have to try yourself. Uh, but yeah, let's jump back to the desk. Let's talk a little bit about this game. All right, okay. That was a lot of fun. I was surprised by a lot in that game. I will be honest, going into it, I had lower expectations. Just because, you know, the price was a little bit lower. Um, I hadn't heard about this game. There was no hype around it. Nothing to do with the development. It kind of came out of nowhere in the Oculus Store. But let me tell you, it is beautifully done. They have done a lot to be proud of here. Now, the only thing I didn't love was the pixelated sprites. And there's two ways they could have fixed this. The first way, I feel like they could have made it 3D. This is something like we've seen in Minecraft or other kind of dungeon crawlers that are coming out there. You can keep the pixel look if you make it 3D, um, but if you wanted to go with the pixels and a flat kind of style, I feel like they made the pixels way too big. If they just like maybe doubled the size of the pixels so we got a little bit more detail in the characters, I could forgive the fact that they were so flat. Um, the only other thing I didn't love is a lot of the characters are very low to the ground. So when you're playing the game, it constantly causes you to kind of force your back down and slash with your sword, um, which does get kind of tiring after a while uh, more like eye level enemies would be okay so one hack to get around that i would say stay in a standing position in the game kind of so your field of view is up higher but then sit down and then you'll be much more at level with the characters and it'll be a lot more comfortable it does take some of that immersion out of it though but uh you're just gonna have to see for yourself what your favorite play style is the other thing i didn't fully love <laughs> was the, the voiceovers you could tell if feels like they just had um, people in their studio kind of do the voiceovers. I doesn't feel like any money was really spent on those. And you know, we're living in days of like Fiverr.com where you can get some really quality voice talent for not a lot of money. So I feel like if they just change those little things, like if they just doubled the pixel count on the sprites and if they just added the 
some better quality voiceovers. They could have actually charged quite a bit more for this game and I would have com been completely satisfied paying that. But let's never forget that the price they did come out with is perfect, okay? this You're getting a lot of bang for your buck for that price. And if you're the type of person who loves the old school Zelda kind of games, this will be like a dream come true because it's like the whole Zelda world around you comes to life but all the characters stay true to that look and feel of what you used to love from the old Nintendo game. That kind of thing. So if you're an old school platformer like that, you will love this type of game. If you're new to it, I think this is a kind of a really cool way to get into it. The spells feel really good. I, I got to two different spells. The one was a time warp spell and it was pretty much, it added teleportation to the game. So if you do have any sort of motion sickness, there's multiple settings. And I think they did probably one of the best jobs for motion settings than I've seen in most other games. It was a beautiful vignette around the screen. So it just subtly got darker, but it didn't completely scope your vision. And you could change that to however you need to. Um, the one thing I noticed is in darker scenes, you kind of lost some of that. So you might have to bump that up. The other thing I recommend if you experience motion problems in VR, use that spell and you can just teleport constantly like you would in a game. Uh, you only get two teleports per kind of spell cast. So you're gonna be constantly kind of drawing circles to get around, but it's kind of fun. It's still interactive. I think you're really gonna like this. So this has been kind of like a little mini review. This is really my first impression. Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because we'll be coming out with a full review and we'll be giving this game our first official Dynamite score before you know it. So stay tuned, subscribe, like this video if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't. Either way, I'm just happy you're here watching. And if you wanna check out more, check out this video up here. This one shows you how I'm giving away $50,000 in free games and system. And if you've seen that one, check that one out below. That one's good too. Take care, Demolition Crew. Bark.